Torco uh -huh. with the Wild Hearts. Oh. But I did watch the video though where you're like going up and I thought it was so amazing and like just your energy with Ginger on stage I thought it was like I thought it rocked. Cool. And then like sometime later I found out that you guys were gonna be playing together and I was like, wow. Like I really felt that. So I wonder if that was the first time you played with Ginger or if you were a fan of the Wild Hearts before. Well, I've known Ginger for quite a while, sort of. On, I've seen him here and there uh, over the years. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was the first time we played together. And uh, it was actually the first time I, I saw the, the Wild Hearts live, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Ginger was opening up for Hanoi in England at some shows, but he was doing like a solo thing. Right. And I was always getting ready for the shows, right? I mean, I never got to see him, really. Uh -huh. But uh, at that festival, uh, it was the first time I, I was watching their show. and. Uh, before the show, we decided to uh, up there. Up there. Yeah. You were hosting the show, weren't you? Yeah, oh, I was hosting. I yeah, that. I was doing. A, I was hosting, uh, presenting some of the bands. I had yeah. my. I could choose whichever band. And, uh, over the uh, two days, three days, the festival was going on. So I was. Uh -huh. I was introducing some bands, and I chose to introduce Wild Hearts, of course. It's cool. Yeah. And uh, me and Ginger talked the day before. They, they, Ginger asked if I wanted to come up with a song, and uh, yeah. Course. Up to when um, we ended up with uh, the MC5, you know, the kick up the jams. Yeah. You know, we did that one. So I introduced them and uh, went up to do the song. And um, the next day, we got together at Ginger's hotel, at the hotel room, in his hotel room, and uh, sat down and started working on some songs. We, we got a couple of cool ideas. One, one of those songs, actually, we ended up we ended up rehearsing here now, and uh, we're doing we call it something on the album, too. Yeah, so I was I was wondering exactly about that. Like, you got obviously one of like some of the coolest guys in rock and roll to play with. Yeah. But yet it's a solo project, so I wonder like how much input do they have? Really, like, really, like Ginger says you're really democratic. Yeah. What would you say? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I mean, the band is. I'm, I didn't want to be. I didn't want to have a backup band and to tell everybody what to do. I just wanted to have a band. Really. Even though the name is Michael Monroe, it really works like a band. Everyone's involved in the writing, the arranging, and, and making decisions about you know, business and everything. Everyone's involved in that. And that's what I really wanted. I'm always, I've always been a band oriented kind of guy. And, you know, to have guys like this, even though the name is Michael Monroe, we just like at this point, it's kind of pointless trying to think of a new name to educate people. It's just really confusing. That project like the Mission 23 and stuff. Yeah, with Sammy. With Sammy, yeah. But different names, you know, it's Michael Monroe is a good name to use, and uh, it's really, a, 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 it really is. Go back to last summer, at the end of the summer, uh, Ginger and me, we, you know, we talked about writing together and stuff, and I was going to start my, start my solo career, but it was not like, uh, well, we did talk about playing together too, but it wasn't until last December that Ginger came to me after this Alice Cooper show at Helsinki, and he came up to me and says he would like to be part of his band, and uh, he sent me a thought of me writing some stuff already. Plus, me and Ginger... Actually, Ginger came back to, to my hometown, Turku, in Finland, uh, later, in, like a month after the Shark Festival. And he, he, and me, he came up to my house and we wrote a couple more songs. And, uh, we talked about, I mean, you know, working together, at least writing together. But it wasn't until after the Alice Cooper show he came and said he'd like to be part of this. And, uh, so I said, well, I got to Sammy and Todd, and uh, we, uh, we got into a uh, 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 Skype conversation where we said, okay, let's, uh, you know, let's try out Ginger and see how that works. And all fell into place beautifully. Perfect. I think he's an awesome writer. Right? He is. Yeah. He is. Like, yeah. he, I think he's one of the best nowadays. Yeah. He's a great, very talented, great writer and great player. And he just wanted to be in a band. He didn't want to be the lead singer. And he didn't, same way with me, you know, he didn't want to tell anybody what to do. Right. Just have him like the songs. It's, it's much more fun having everybody involved in that. And it's easier. So much more productive too. You know, the end result is always better when you have a. Um, and do you think the Hanai Rocks book will be translated into English soon? I certainly hope so. There's been some talk about it. There's, there's been discussions. Uh, so uh, our, my manager will uh, uh, is working on. Our manager is working on it. To say um, I can't promise yet, but I would think before too long, and it should be because it's a release. I, I have the finished one, but. I can only look at the pictures. Right, I know. <laughs> it's, writ it's written really well. It's, it's a great book, so I'm, I'm sure before too long, it's, it, uh, 
I hope and think it will be at least translated. Do you plan to eventually have a Michael Monroe biography? Actually, I've already started working with it on it with really? the guy. Yeah, with the guy who wrote the Hanoi book. Mm -hmm. We just he 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 said you know there should be a Michael Monroe book too, and uh, so well, why not? Uh, so we he's already interviewing people. In, uh, I, yeah, I've been telling him. You know, I'm stories. sure you have great stories to tell. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's a lot. Well, there's a lot to talk about because I mean Michael Monroe's soul has actually been longer than Hanoi, the old Hanoi and new Hanoi took all together. It's only been like seven, say. Uh, Old Hanoi was like four or five years, and the new Hanoi like seven years, and like twelve years. My solo career has been going on for sixteen years in the past, and it's been really to be launched now. So uh, there's a lot of stories, a lot of cool stuff, and uh, just, that, that would be a good book too. Awesome. And what what like uh, inspires you right now musically? Do you like any stuff that's going on right now? I like some stuff. You know, everything I hear and see inspires me always, but. Uh, yeah, there's, there's good new bands, and well, I might mainly listen to uh, bands that I've always listened to, but also new stuff by old bands, like Cheap Tricks' new album is uh -huh. great. That actually taught you They're to playing on. here next month. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. They're playing the House of Blues, I think, on February 24th or something. Are you going to be here? February 24th. Oh, it's just before I come here. I probably won't be there, but uh -huh. I, I would just, I've always wanted to see them. I never saw them live. So uh, I'd love to see Cheap Trick. I love them. One of my favorite bands of all times. I like new bands like you know, Lincoln Park. Sound great. They have some great stuff. I like Lincoln Park. And uh, Foo Fighters got a great thing going. I've got a lot of famous new bands. Uh, and uh, you know, there's good rock and roll all around. I look for it. Yeah. So since uh, we are talking to Brazil, um, would you like to say any message to your fans in Brazil? Hello, Brazil. And uh, Michael Monroe here is saying that. Uh, I hope we'll be there soon. I hope and think we're going to be playing Brazil soon. I'd like to visit there. I've never been there. And uh, we're doing everything we can to make our way out there with this band. Uh, it'll be great to see you. Rock on and uh, stay with us. We'll be hearing some great stuff soon. Great.